Take your PlayStation and throw it out of the window. Take your Xbox and toss it into a fire. Take your Nintendo Switch and donate it to a children's hospital. Those first two things were pretty wasteful and kind of messed up, to be honest. YouTube has got you covered for all your gaming needs now. All the games that you will ever need to play are right there on YouTube, and we're going to dive into those today. Much like a diver diving into a pool, there... There's a metaphor that I'm not finding, but we're gonna look at the games. You may have come across some of these on YouTube sometimes as you're scrolling and suddenly YouTube is like, I want to play a game. YouTube playables are things that you can play much in the same way that lunchables are things that you can lunch. But apparently they're still experimental, so don't be sad if you don't see these on your YouTube homepage. That just means you're not being experimented on. I can see them, so I can only assume that I am a guinea pig. I'm a lab rat and they're probably watching me right now. There are like a hundred games going on in here. So you have your classics like launch balls at things, but with aiming guide that actively lies to you. Tetris, but don't worry, nothing is gonna fall. It's just gonna, you just, no pressure, take your time. They even seem to have daily solitaire and daily solitaire. It is nice to have the option between the two. Some days I wake up and I'm like, oh, I, today's a daily solitaire kind of day. But other days I'm like, I don't know, I'm feeling daily solitaire today. One game title that really spoke to me was Attack Hole. Attack Hole? Don't... Don't mind if I do. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that's my kind of game. So Attack Hole looks like it's about bullets and action and holes and... Uh, so, mm. Those don't look like bullets anymore. Definite and questionable color change between the thumbnail and the game itself, but I mean... Okay, so I gotta put as many of these into my hole as I can. Uh, when you put a lot of them into your hole, your hole gets bigger so you can fit more of them into your hole. I'm gonna change games. Ball Blast, that's probably less phallic. Ah, okay, well, they didn't have to design that that way. They just, they just didn't. We're gonna switch genres entirely and play Guess the Alien. I think I'm gonna be pretty good at this game. He's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> All right, right off the bat here, I think, I think I might be able to venture a guess. Yep, that was the, the one that was the alien was the alien. That is such an intense death animation. <laughs> Making me feel bad. Now I'm in this part of the, oh, I feel like I shouldn't be here for this. There's Pretty clearly a serious argument going on here. I assume about that wooden boat. Stop bringing the wooden boat into the bath. It's supposed to be our romantic time. I think the boat brings a whole different kind of romantic vibe. I assume that's what they're arguing about. He does seem like he's about to smack her though, so I, I'd better find out which one of these is the alien before this escalates. Well, 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 Mr. Angry Man, wouldn't you know it? I'm got, uh, so I got a click. Click. Oh, what? Okay, so I did make a mistake on that, but to be fair, I think it took this kind of disaster for the alien man to realize he really did love his wife because he pulled a gun on me right away. Whose house am I in? Is this all the same? What situation am I walking into? I should not be in these rooms that I'm walking into. This guy clearly hooked up with two aliens and uh, seemingly had a great time. Now they're just watching TV together, I guess. No. No, they are staring at a wall together. Okay. Well, I hate to burst this guy's bubble, but... All right, I'm still in a house here. Oh, the cops are here. It's probably... It's probably because of all the loud killing I've been doing. I think he's happily explaining to me, or rather to my doorframe, that... You know, I can't be doing murders like that. I just can't, it's way too loud. Unfortunately, his partner's an alien, so I'm gonna have to take care of that for him. I assume he'll pull a gun on me because... Okay, no, he just runs away. I hate to say it, but I don't think that guy's a very good police officer. Now, a pizza man's angry at me. Uh, oh, that's no pizza man. That is a upper class alien. It just goes to show, you know, don't judge an alien by its human skin. Turns out this was the alien king. I love his mannerisms. You cannot stop the invasion. You cannot. In other developing news, I'm 50% of the way towards gun, which I think is gonna be a game changer. Cause right now I have gun, but that other gun looks like a different gun. So, you know, that's gonna be pretty good. Now I'm at an alien disco. I don't even have to guess 
which ones are aliens here. I'm pretty sure they all are. Easy work, quick murders, no problem. Oh, it's all the citizens. Good, good, good. That is a natural reaction to being rescued, I think. The most horrific experience of your life just happened and you're freed from a tube. You guys can leave. You don't have to. All right. I'm in a whole new neighborhood now. Luckily, I don't have to shoot any children. So this goes on for some time. Slight variety of situations. Dinner party murder. Finally got different gun. Things are looking up. It is starting to get a little repetitive. Th well, that's not a good hiding spot at all, alien. Yeah, I mean, granted, it does seem like the traffic cone was an official citizen of this town. I think it's probably time to change games. Phone case DIY. I've been really excited for GTA 6, but this might just hold me over. All right, my dude, let's see what... Okay. Hi. Oh, I have a phone. I... All right, I put glue on it. I'm gonna glue this guy's phone up real good, I suppose. Perfect. Oh, okay. Good. Now paint it. Uh, is that good? Is that enough? I, there are no instructions. I'm just, that feels like a good amount. And then I'll dry that. That's 125 backwards dollars for that. I am ripping this guy off. What am I supposed to do with money though? Like why do I, I don't understand. Okay, I'm gonna glue this girl's phone. Give her some bad paint. Plop, plop, plop. Give her an OnlyFans sticker and this biker guy in his leather underwear. She seems happy with it. She did one of these things, so. Hi, would you like me to f up your phone? Oh, okay, so I can save, I, this is what I can spend money on. I can get such things as interior, wall, and floor. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda do, I would, I would, I would, I could go for a wall. Let's f up this guy's phone and get some sweet, sweet wall. Here you go, just some green diarrhea. Brown, dry that off for you, put some glitter, 200 bucks. This is an incredibly profitable business. I've only done a couple of phone cases, DIY, and already I can buy a wall. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. Now I... I don't care for this game anymore. Let's flex our brain muscles and play brain out. Let's brain out. Find the biggest one. I mean, that is a giant apple, right? It's gotta be the apple. Oh, okay, I, okay. Yeah, watermelons are bigger than apples. You got, oh, you got me, you got me. I immediately fear that this is gonna be a very frustrating game. How many ducks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, okay, one of them isn't a duck. Mm -mm, not enjoyable. Congratulations, sweetie. What in the condescension? Who is the tallest one? Okay, you're not gonna get me. I know it's the sun because look how tall the sun is. Yep, clever. Yeah, the, ugh, that's sarcastic. Can you find out the different one? What do you mean? They've all got same shape, same seeds. This one has some paint sticking out. Goes out of the lines, it's gotta be that one. Okay, but the, then it's... Okay, you can drag them. Mm. This feels personal now. I'm not gonna let this game defeat me. Congratulations, you're brilliant. A little monster, a little monster of a game. Which claw is similar to Cat's outstretched claw? What do you mean? That doesn't even make sense. Wow, I love meow. Find out the largest fire. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, uh, you drag them together, okay. The person that made this game realized that there is a dragging mechanic that they can use and they are messing with me with it. So I know right away, that's what they mean. Yep, it's not a math thing. It's literally just what's under the car. Find something you cannot eat. It's not the chicken, it's the nest. First of all, you don't know me. You don't know how many nests I've eaten. This game's my nemesis. This is ruining my day. Find the chick. Uh, mm. What do you want from me? Do I stack them? I guess I gotta... Use a hint. Chick is hiding behind the hen. One finger to hold the hen and shake it on the screen. Okay, so I shake the- Congratulations, I knew you could find the chick. Here's the thing, it's like, why would I have ever tried that? I'm gonna find the person that made this game. I'm going to- I'm gonna do that. Count the number of hairs. Ah, it was a toupee. Oh my god. The little elephant is so lonely. There is a hidden copy sign. Okay. How long- It just keeps going. It just keeps going. I did not like this experience. Looking into YouTube playables a little more, it seems like these are mostly just ports of mobile games. Based on the couple games I've played, I do apologize for making you throw out your consoles. That probably wasn't the wisest thing. However, I think a lot of the blame also goes to iWind Limited, 
who have created this popular, globally acclaimed game, I don't think that's true. For some reason, this does seem to be a thing that big companies are starting to do. Netflix also has a playable game section on which Grand Theft Auto is there. My guess is that the whole thing is that they want people to stay on their platforms longer. And to be fair, part of me does want to finish Brain Out just out of spite to not let iWind defeat me. It's so frustrating because it's like not, it's not clever. It's like if I asked you, how many microphones am I holding? You'd be like, one, Ryan, you got one microphone. And then I'd be like, uh, no, technically I was holding my phone behind this computer screen, which also technically has a microphone on it. The answer was two. You failed the brain out challenge, sweetie. I'm gonna play some attack hole and unwind. Oh, look how big my hole got. <laughs> Hi there, hello. Please hit that subscribe button. I am a disembodied head, so you can trust me. You can trust me. 